What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to approach a girl at a bar, which most guys admittedly uh, really do not know how to do. I see a lot of guys doing wrong things with my students, with uh, you know people who watch my channel, and just guys who are out in general. Most guys just stand around and they do it wrong, they do it come up creepily, they make the girl feel awkward, it's uncomfortable. Um, you're gonna be learning how to do it in the right way. That's gonna give you the highest chance of success, meaning that you're gonna be able to have a good interaction. She's gonna like you. She's gonna wanna get your phone number, date you, and maybe even possibly go home with you that night. So, uh, what I'm gonna be talking about first is how a lot of guys approach in the wrong way. Um, I'm gonna teach you the right way to approach, and then I'm gonna teach you how to start a conversation after that. And also kind of obviously there's going to be a lot of times where this doesn't work out and that's totally fine. You know, people sometimes they don't like each other or sometimes they're just, it's not the right moment to talk to that person. Okay. How do you walk away and still kind of keep and save face? All right, so before I get into that, if you guys are interested in getting uh, coached by me one-on-one, -on -one, fill out my form down below. I teach you guys exactly how to do this in the right way. And if you're the average guy watching this channel, I think you could definitely benefit a lot from that. This is the number one thing that I see guys get results with. So uh, if you're interested in that, fill out the form below. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna tell you is how most guys do it wrong. Most guys, when they walk up to a girl, they do a, a bunch of different things, okay? They either run up to her, they just get, you know, completely drunk and they'll just walk up and they'll be like, hey, how's it going? They'll get like way too close to her. They do a lot of really bad things, okay? <clears throat> so if you're going out, the way that I would recommend doing it is a lot of times women are, well, they're gonna be, they're gonna be everywhere. You know, they're at the bar, sitting down, the best time to talk to a girl is when she's usually standing up. I like to talk to women that are standing up a little bit more uh, because that way she has the option to leave if she wants to. Also too, I generally don't like talking to girls that much on the dance floor. If you're on the dance floor, you should dance and see if she wants to dance with you. Um, but if she's just kind of standing around at the bar, that's a great place to start. Now, if she's at the bar, sometimes what a lot of guys will do is they'll walk up and they'll kind of like tap her on the shoulder like this. And then she'll turn around and then start, you know, they'll start talking to each other. Okay, that's not a good, that's not a good way to approach. I would recommend that you actually don't tap girls on the shoulder and get them to turn around because she is trying to order a drink or she's trying to talk to somebody. You basically are interrupting her now. She has to turn around and maybe her friends are staring at her. Maybe the bartender is waiting for her to order a drink. Whatever it is, there's a lot of pressure on her to like end the interaction as quickly as possible. So I wouldn't come in from behind. Also, I, I, when girls are kind of like approaching you and they're going somewhere and you try and stop them, that can work sometimes if, they're, if they wanna stop, but if they're trying to go somewhere and you're holding them back from doing that, then it makes the interaction, there's probably gonna be a very short time limit on this interaction. The best way that I think to go and start talking to somebody, whether it's at a nightclub, bar, or a social event, is to come in from the side. Meaning, if she's kind of like at the bar, you come in alongside her, maybe uh, order a drink or whatever with her too, and then start talking to her, okay? Coming in from the side is a lot easier. She has all this room over here so she can leave if she wants to, and you always wanna give the girl the option to leave at the beginning. If you pressure her or you corner her or you put her in a spot that's kind of tricky, like the best example is when she's like standing up against a wall or something like that, and you come in right in front of her, she doesn't have a whole lot of options to leave. She feels trapped. So women are gonna worry about their safety first. And the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that they're not afraid of you, okay? Even from a purely selfish standpoint, this is gonna make it a lot less likely she's gonna to wanna to give you her phone number or something like that. So basically what I do is I come in from the side. Now when I come in from the side, I'm kinda of like talking like this. Now if you saw in my other video where I showed you two, uh, a video of me talking to two models in Los Angeles, I'm kind of leaned back and I'm very relaxed, okay? If I come in with very relaxed body language, I'm smiling, I'm like having a good time, I come in maybe just slightly higher energy levels than her, like if she's with a friend or something like that and they're talking, they're having a good time, I don't wanna come in and being all low energy, okay? I wanna come in at their energy, maybe take it up a notch, because when people are out, they're trying to have fun. So I walk up, kind of relax, a little bit higher energy level than them, and then so a lot of people wonder, what's the first thing you usually say, okay? It really depends on the situation. I have no idea what I usually say, okay? But most of the time, if I can't think of something cool or something funny, something observational, I'll literally just say, hey, how's your night going? Very, very simple. It doesn't really matter what you say, it's how you say it and how you follow up, okay? Usually people, if she was down to talk to a guy that night, she's probably gonna say something like, oh, my night's going good, how's yours? 
And then you can say something funny like, oh, you won't believe what just happened to me, blah, 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 blah. And then ask her like where she's from, what she does. And then these will branch into other different subjects. Like, oh, cool, how did you get into that sort of thing? Now you're learning a little bit more about her past. You're learning a little bit more about her. You mix in a little bit of teasing. That's a typical good bar conversation, okay? Where you learn a little bit about somebody, you tease, you have fun, you experience each other a little bit. That's a great way to start, okay? Um, now, a lot of guys, when they come in, uh, some of the biggest mistakes that I see in this area, so we've talked about what, how to not walk up and approach the girl. We've also talked about what to say when you go up and do it and do it in the correct fashion. Now, let's talk a little bit about like where things tend to go wrong, okay? So, I see the number one problems that I see is guys either run out of stuff to talk about. So, if you're running out of stuff to talk about, I have a video on how to never run out of things to talk about uh, with someone that you're talking to, whether it's a girl or really whoever, honestly. Like, um, I have topics for girls as well, too. Um, but a lot of times they don't take the interaction anywhere or they don't know if the girl likes them and the, the girl just kind of gets bored and she leaves. Okay. The way that you prevent this from happening is make sure the interaction is leading somewhere. Okay. And by leading, I mean actually lead her somewhere, dude. Like if she's there and she, let's say you're at the bar and you're talking for a little bit, just say, hey, cool, come meet my friends. Like if she says something, she, maybe she, she might like one of your friends or she might, you know, it might be cool for just her to meet people. People are usually out to meet people. Um, move her to someplace else. If you just stand there and talk and expect some magic to happen, usually that's not what's going to go down. Okay, so uh, that's how I would recommend walking up and talking to a girl. Remember, body language is super important. Come in from the side, don't corner them, make sure you give them the option to leave at all times. And also, don't come in with a lot of hesitancy. The, uh, a big thing that I see guys come in with is they come in with like, hi, like, my, my name's Lloyd and they kind of like shake their hand or whatever. Like the girl, women do not like guys who hesitate for a lot of reasons because they usually label them as creepy. The reason why they label them as creepy is because it seems like they're up to something. But if you come in secure, confident, hey, how's it going? My name's Lloyd, nice to meet you. Hey, how's your night going? Awesome, yeah, my night's going great. You won't believe what happened to me, check this out. And then, so you just start rolling in it and you start talking, okay? That guy, that confident guy, is actually gonna make the woman feel a lot more relaxed than the guy who hesitates and is unsure of himself, okay? A lot of people mimic how your behavior is. So come in with that high level of dominance and security, be assertive, not aggressive, and a lot of times, it's gonna be a much more successful interaction. Okay, so even if you do all of this right, there's going to be a lot of women that don't wanna to talk to you, and that's okay. It's not because they don't wanna to talk to you because of you, it's just because maybe they're talking to their friends right now. Maybe they lost, the, you know, maybe they're going through some, some shit that happened to them earlier that night. Maybe they're just in a bad mood. Who knows? It doesn't matter and it's okay. If a girl doesn't wanna to talk to you at that minute, it doesn't mean she doesn't wanna to talk to you forever. It just means at that time, she's a little bit busy. And whatever happens, do not react negatively, okay? Even if she comes out and she's like, ugh, get away from me. Like, the appropriate response to that dude is you laugh. If a girl does that shit to me, I think it's hilarious, man. Like, what could I possibly have done in the first five seconds? She doesn't like my haircut, she doesn't like my beard. <laughs> you know, it's like, you gotta laugh things off, take things with a positive spin, because if you react negatively, you're gonna get yourself into a negative state, and maybe that girl that you talk to next, who will like you, you're, you're being all negative Nancy, you're being all downer, you know, you're, she's not gonna wanna hang out with that guy, she's gonna wanna hang out with your best self, so make sure you keep your best self ready for the girl that does wanna talk to you. And if you walk up and you do it in the manner that I'm telling you, you're actually not gonna look like you got rejected or you look like she didn't wanna talk to you or whatever, which I know a lot of guys are concerned about, they're concerned about what other people think of them. So if you come in with the right way, you come in like that, very relaxed, whatever she does, you're positive, you laugh it off, a lot of people see it as a positive. Like I remember I walked up to a group of girls the other day and uh, I talked to them and like it was it was whatever's but they didn't really want to hang out with me and I just kind of like walked back to my friends and they were like uh, well how was it and I was like that sucked. And they're like what? They're like dude it looked like it was going really well. It looked like they liked you and I was like well they didn't kind of just didn't want to talk right now. It's all about the way that you handle it. If you handle things with great positivity, great positivity, um, relaxed body language, and you're assertive, and you know, you're coming in not hesitating, not insecure, then a lot of people are just going to assume that all your interactions are really good, even though you didn't actually get what you wanted. 
So remember that when you're going out, hopefully this helped you guys. If you guys are wondering about more tips on how to do this, I recommend you check my Facebook group. If you wanna be, tra be trained by me in person where I teach guys exactly how to do this in person, I mean, this is my bread and butter, man. I've been out a lot, I've approached like thousands of women, slept with hundreds of women, just from the bars too. Not that I'm bragging about being of those crass things, but uh, if you're wondering how to do this, I'm probably your guy. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.